Hi, I'm Natasha. Today we're going to work some hardcore. So are you ready to work? Are you ready to build some inner strength? Pull out your mat. Let's get started. by warming up our wrists because they're going to do a little bit of work today. So we'll just come into a tabletop position, stacking those wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, spread your fingers nice and wide, just feel your way through. Those finger, fingers don't have to be super wide, but you want to find that connection down through the base of the knuckle, index finger, the little fingers. And plug those fingertips into the floor as well. How does it feel? Hopefully not too tight through the forearms. Maybe a little rotation just to check in. Breathe it out. Let's turn our fingers out to the side and we'll just rock a little bit from side to side. And then we're going to, if you can, not everyone can do this, depends on your arm rotation, uh, turn the fingers in towards you. That might be intense, but that's no good. Just keep them out to the sides or a little bit turned in towards you. And you can rock a bit or if it feels comfortable, leaning back. How's that going? Mm. Release that out, bring the hands back to center. Let's turn one palm up. The fingertips are the palm facing up to you, the fingertips facing in, leaving the other palm where it is. Release that out, other side. And the wrists really do take a hammering in our asana, so it's nice to build strength there. And make sure you're not just collapsing here through the body. We are still pressing up into the upper back, the belly is slightly lifted. And let's release. Alright, how are they feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. And let's now come down, shake it out, maybe squeeze them out. That's a nice way to do it. If you do find that your wrists are a little weak, a really lovely thing I like to do um, that I learnt when I was doing a kid's play, and I basically had to plank across, across the floor because I played a um, sausage dog, a duck, duck, duck wouldn't, is that how you say them? <laughs> And um, my wrist took a huge hammering, even though I had wrist supports and stuff. This activity here, just rolling your wrists around your hips. Tai Chi style. You can bring it around the front if you want to. And the idea is that you're contacting the body. I see people do this a lot, but that's nothing. You want to have that touch. The body loves being touched. And it just kind of fires off the right kind of happy hormones, but at the same time, it also helps to build strength and flexibility in through the wrist area, so I've just changed the rotation of my wrist there. You can do this all the time, when you're hanging out in the grocery shop, <laughs> maybe not, but it's a nice thing to do if you are feeling that the wrists are a little weak, and just... Do that every once in a while, I promise you, it will strengthen them. Uh, if they are experiencing some discomfort, it will help with that as well. We're just going to interlace our fingers loosely. Nice little gentle figure eights. Boom, 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 boom. The tricky bit's coming up. Rotate back the other way. Took me a while to coordinate all of that, but I got it down now. <laughs> awesome. And then we're going to uh, keep the fingers interlaced, reach them up, stretch them out, open out. Now, I'm stretching up here, but I'm not letting everything pop out. So soften the rib cage down, draw the belly in, lengthen the tailbone, see how far those arms want to come back. We're keeping this nice contained line from the knees to the hips, to the ribs, to the shoulders, and we're not letting everything just pop out there. This way, we're already starting to activate our core muscles. And let's release the hands, bring them behind us, draw the hands back, and again, try not to let everything pop out here. So lengthen your tailbone to the floor, soften the rib cage down, 
lift those hip bones ever so slightly. Even if all of this is just happening in your mind, the body will get the idea. Reach back, draw back, release it out. Whew. Shake it out. And we're going to start off um, with strengthening the glutes because it's all really connected. You want a nice strong core. You also want your glutes to, to take part in that activity. These are big muscles. We want these muscles to join in. And I'll, I'll do a little um, booty lift <laughs> video later on. Just coming down onto your back. Hey, yeah, yeah. And we're just going to hot hug our right knee in for a moment. A moment. And press up and lift. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. I want you to press down through the inside of that um, left leg there so that the knee is not splaying open. And slowly come down. Awesome. Press up again. Lift. Now the core is engaging a little bit. Not a whole lot. This is really about our glutes just to activate, strengthen up. If you're feeling that you need some support underneath the shoulders, go ahead and put a, a, a folded up blanket under the shoulders there. Release down. Just a little one. Not too epic just yet. Hug everything in. Press up. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, we'll just hold a little bit longer because I just told you a little story on the other side. <laughs> Let's come on down nice and slowly, lovely. Press up again, hold. And just feel how these guys are hopefully charging up. They're going to join the party when we start working our core. Already you can feel maybe little things going on here, building strength and take it down. Lovely jubbly. So we open up the back a little bit more and again start to wake up the core. We're rocking and rolling. Roll back and forward and back and forward and back and forward. And I want you to start to think about, oh, maybe I could roll forward and balance on my feet. Tuck your feet in. Oh, ha. <laughs> Here we go. On the toes. Find that balance. Really hard to balance when you look off to the side. Let's try it again. Drop down to the feet if you can. Drop down to your butt if you can. Roll down nice and slow. Yes, that's right. Roll up. Find that balance. Again, come down. Roll up. Find that balance. Awesome. Now let's roll down. And I want you to think about here, we're going to look for what is called the hollow body. So I know this is super attractive right now. Roll down, down to the sacrum, down to that low back. Our shoulders are lifted. Low back is on the ground, shoulders are lifted. So the upper back's not there, but we are basically removing the lumbar curve right now. And already that's going to work your core a whole lot. And then let's gently come down. Whew. Let's lift the knees now. Lifting the knees. Uh, you can have the feet straight if you want to, but I find the knees bent and trying to find that right angle helps you work a little bit harder as well. Uh, actually, let's in, bring the hands behind us. Point those elbows to the sky. Think about tuck the pelvis as you do that. Feel how the low back comes down into the floor, tuck the pelvis, lift the shoulders, breathe, elbows point towards your knees now. Five, four, three, two, one, exhale. And allow the body to just relax for a moment. Tuck the pelvis, breathe up, hold. Five, four, three, two, one, come down. One more time, tuck and lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. Let's extend our hands out in front of us. Tuck and lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. All right, keep the legs up. One more time. We're going to do that. Come up, tuck the pelvis, hollow body, back into the ground. Five, four, three, two, 
one, five, keep lifting, four, three, two, one, last one, five, four, three, try not to strain the neck, two, one, take it down, ah, oh, let those legs come down, holy moly, shake it out, Whew. let's a little bit bridge it out for a moment, just release, good old belly, and then come on down, roll it down, nice and slowly, one vertebra at a time, when you come into bridges, don't turn your head to the side, just keep it centered, rock it out, all right, now hands down by your side, legs straight out in front of you, if you need a little bit more back support, bring those hands underneath you, palms face down, inhale, lift those legs, exhale, nice and slowly, don't drop them to the ground, hover about I don't know, an inch off the floor, inhale up, two, exhale, take it down, inhale up, feel how again that hollow body enters the ground, exhale, come down, inhale up, <laughs> exhale down, inhale up, and exhale down, I lost count, let's say this is six, and seven, <laughs> back in the mat, I'm making interesting sounds, eight, nine, ten, ha. and take it down, check it up, if that was okay for you, um, but you don't think you could take it up the next level, just do that again with us, for those that are stronger, arms overhead, here we go, lift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes we are only doing ten, nine, Ten, reach up, oh yeah that's right, reach up, <laughs> breathe into it and we're going to think about right pinky to left little toe, up, one, two, three, four, five, centre, hollow body though, shoulders off the ground, up, other side, left pinky to right big toe, little toe, uh, two, three, four, a five, hold, five, four, reach up, pinkies to toes, three, two, one, right pinky, left toe, five, four, three, two, one, centre, over to the other side, five, four, three, two, one, centre, lift, five, four, three, two, one, release, hug those knees in, <sighs> rock it out, rock it out, maybe just come into a nice bridge for a moment, let's do a little supported bridge, bring the hands underneath you, <sighs> stretch out the belly, breathe, keep the head centred the whole time, exhale, slowly take yourself down, and then here we go, rock up, find that balance, yeah, awesome. Alrighty. We're just going to stretch out the hip flexors a little bit more and then we're going to start planking. So not only are we doing that lower body, uh, the core strength, but we're going to work some upper body strength. Roll the shoulders back and down. Let's just bring the hands to the low back and press the hips forward. Open the heart to the sky. Lift. Gaze back if that feels appropriate to do. Otherwise, just gazing forward. Inhale, come up, exhale down into a child's pose, couple of breaths here. Inhale, coming up. Now we're going to work some shoulder strength first before we do all the core stuff. So coming to your tabletop position, wrist underneath your hips, uh, wrist underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. 
spread those fingers nice and wide. Now just let everything collapse. I want you to feel how it feels to hang off your bones here. So we're hanging off our hips, we're hanging off our shoulders. Now press everything up. So this isn't like cat, we're not rolling everything in, but we're pressing up through the shoulders and finding those muscles in the upper back area. So feel that intensity all the way up there. And then just come and find that halfway point. That halfway between hanging and too much. You should feel nice and contained. Your core should feel a little bit warm right about now. Let's just press up now through the shoulders, still looking for the containment through the rest of the body. So you can feel that your, your shoulders are protracting up towards the sky and then let them come through. Hang off the bones without dropping through um, the lower body. Press up, we're just working the upper body up and down, up, 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 and down, up. Excellent. Let's do a down dog just to stretch everything out. Walk your palms forward about a palm print. Tuck your toes, press and rise, downward facing dog. Tread it out. Breathe into it, press up to your toes. Tuck your chin towards your chest, around the back, like you're doing cat, but we are working a little higher here. And then release down dog, lengthening out the body, shake out the head, no effort there, the weight of the head coming down, press up, round the back, chin towards the chest, release, lovely downward facing dog, one more time, press up, release. Drop the knees, sink down child's pose. These rest times are really important. Maybe turn the palms up to the sky, release. Inhale, cat, tabletop. Oh, we're gonna do hovering cat. So if you have tight ankles and you can't flatten the feet to the floor, it's totally fine doing it with your um, toes tucked. But if you can, flatten those feet down, make sure you have stacked your bones, shoulders over wrists, and lift the knees. Only about one, two inches max off the ground. Breathe into it. This builds strength not just in our core, but in our upper body and our lower body. Keep that breath flowing. Maybe this is the time to bring in your Ujjayi breath to bring that determination and strength. If you're not sure what Ujjayi is, check out the Ujjayi video. <laughs> oh, my knee's getting too high. Don't let them get too high. Breathe into it. And release. Ooh, breathe into cat. Stretch out the belly. Gaze up. Exhale round. Then inhale. Exhale, inhale, back to center, this time hovering cat with cat and cow, it's tough, come up hovering cat, here we go, and you can just stay in hovering cat if you don't want a cat and cow, breathe, inhale, exhale, shift the weight so that it is even through the arms and through the top of the feet, feel that strength in the body, Breathe into it. Couple more. And release down. Child's pose. Take it down. Soften. Maybe bring your arms down by your side. Let them have a break. Let's just bring the hands behind us, interlace those fingers, draw them up and together. Release it down. Inhale, come up. Right. How are you feeling charged up? I think we're ready to like do handstands and headstands and stuff with all of this. But that's not what we're doing now. We're going to come into a plank. Again, bring those wrists underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes, press, plank, hold. Now in plank, 
don't let those hips sag down. This is not a plank. And also, don't let them come up too high. We're looking for a, a lovely uh, length feeling of standing Tadasana here. So we're pressing down through our heels. We're drawing our hip bones towards our ribs and our ribs towards our hips, while also trying to lengthen the waist away from the hips at the same time. And we've got that little sense of protracting through the shoulders like we did before, where we were practicing that Retraction and retraction. Breathe five, four, three, two, a one. Right leg lifts, bring it on top. Five of the left leg, that is. Sorry, that's my left leg, but right leg <laughs> lifts, left leg on. Heel, release, left leg lifts, place it on the right heel. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Release, drop the knees, relax backs. Sit and breathe. Roll the shoulders out. Just bring one arm across the body here just to let those shoulders have a little relief. So we're gonna be moving into some more planking in a moment. Release that out. Come to the other side. And release that out. All right, this time we're gonna do um, dolphin plank. So, you can either choose to do your plank with the hands apart, you can have a block between the hands there so that they don't roll in. If they are going to roll in, then maybe just do dolphin plank. It also gives you some leverage there. Um, dolphin, press up, press the floor away, reach up, lift and lengthen, that's it. Step back into your plank on our, um, on our elbows and then lift the right leg release left leg release 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 one more on each side last one let it go walk over to the right side hold breathe I know my lesson rights are a little messed up. I should tattoo them on my feet. Back to centre. Over to the left. Hold. Breathe. Find that strength through the body. You can take a rest whenever you need to. Take your knees down if you need to. Back to centre. Knees down. Child's pose. Breathe. Enjoy that rest time. <laughs> Inhale, coming back up. Here we go. Building up a body and core at the same, same time. Coming into plank. I'll say left leg because that's what I've lifted. Left leg lifts. Bring that elbow up. That elbow. Bring your knee up to your shoulder. Down to your wrist. Shoulder. Wrist, shoulder or armpit, wrist, armpit, wrist, armpit, center. Send it back, release, other side, bend the knee, armpit, wrist, armpit, wrist, armpit, wrist, armpit, wrist, armpit, wrist, armpit, center. Send it back, release, down dog. Breathe it out. Take this time to rest. Lovely deep breaths. Come back to centre. And we're going to roll and bring the feet together in your plank. Roll onto your right side. Keep the weight even in the arms. Lift through those hips. Release, roll to the other side. Keep the weight even in the arms. Lift through the hips. Let 
back to centre, hop it to the edge, centre, edge, centre, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back in, drop down, child's pose. This time let's bend to the elbows, point the fingers to the sky, bring the palms together, rest. Release those arms, draw up, roll out those shoulders, roll them back the other way. We're just going to bring your right arm up, place it between the back and just draw the um, elbow towards you and up to the sky. Other side. Release, draw those arms back, draw them in towards each other, draw them out. Maybe drop the chin, stretch out the back of the neck. Release, roll it out. Alrighty, not there yet. <laughs> Come. Come on to your seat again. This time we're going to bring the soles of the feet together. Bring our hands out in front of us. Charlie's angel mudra. Lean back and draw those legs in. And extend and in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. This is all really easy, right? After what you just did. Back in. Grab hold of those legs if you can. Stretch it out. Open up. Look for length through the body. Breathe into it. If you can't, just hang out here. Hang out here. It's all good. Use a strap. We're just stretching out the shoulders, opening up the body. Bring those legs back together. Release, boat. Lower boat. Lower, lower, lower. And we're not hollow bodying it, we're just doing boat here. Naukasana. Navasana. Inhale, come up. This time, hollow body. Roll down. You can do all of this with the feet down if you want to. In fact, let's do that first. So feet down, inhale, roll up. Breathe into it, roll through the spine, through the sacrum, through to that low back. Keep the upper body lifted though. And up. Exhale. If all of this is too easy, bring the arms up overhead. So maybe you just want to take it easy for a moment. And then come back, lift those knees, here we go down, and up, and down and hold, five, four, three, two, one, and up, let's do it with those arms up, down, five, four, three, two, one, ah. next level, straighten everything out, hollow body rather than boat, round, five, four, Three, two, one. Ah, Here we go. Roll it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Next level. Arms up. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And up. One more time. Roll it down. Five, four. Lift the shoulders, three, two, one, up. And last one, boat, hollow body, nice and low. Press down, low back into the ground. Five, four, three, two, 
One, release. Oh, let it go. Widen up those legs. Roll it out. Ugh, shake it all out. <laughs> Let's um, hug those knees in. Roll around. I'm just going to come forward a bit. And this time, uh, I'm turn this way. Extend your arms out. Turn the palms down. Knees in. Roll them to one side. Breathe. Not resting just yet. Back to centre. Roll them to the other side. Breathe. Centre. Over. Centre. Over. Centre. Over. Centre. Over. And just rock from side to side. Do, 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 do. <laughs> And then finally drop your knees over towards the right. You can place your hand on the knee if you want to. Gaze over to the left. Breathe into it. Gaze towards the right, sweep your left hand so that it's on the floor overhead. You can do like little half angel wings. So sweep that hand down on the floor, let it naturally turn. The palm will eventually face down to the floor as you get to shoulder height. Continue to sweep it all the way down towards the hips. Sweep it up, let the palm turn up as you get to shoulder height. Sweep it to the head. Just keep doing that. Do about 10 or so. And we're just releasing out the shoulder and the neck. Breathe. Rest going to do one more and then allow that palm to come down right beside your body right down by your hips press your shoulder down to the floor gazing towards the right and pressing both shoulders down to the floor And then soften, bring the knees back up, drop them to the other side. Just rest here, gazing to the right, continuing to gaze to the right there. Breathe it out, relax and soften. And then we're going to gaze to the left, bring that right arm up, sweeping it up, and angel wing it down. Bringing it all the way down to that hip, palm facing down, gazing to the left, draw your shoulders down to the floor. Release out, come back to centre, roll around a little bit. Let's just bridge it out for a moment, little dynamic bridge, inhale up, exhale down. Press down through the insides of the feet, keep the head centered the whole time, inhale up, exhale down, spiral those inner thighs to the floor as you come up, 
So the knees are nicely supported and centered. Two more. And down, last one. And releasing down, hug your knees in, nose between your knees, give yourself a well-deserved cuddle. And exhale, surrender. Release into your Shavasana, or if you prefer a child's pose, or it legs up the wall. Just take this time, don't run off and be busy now. Take time to let the body repair and heal and integrate the benefits of your practice. Just pay attention, notice what's going on in the body right now, notice the sensation. Body's an amazing thing, it really is. The more asana you do, the more you fall in love with your body. The more you fall in love with the body, the more you fall in love with yourself. The more you fall in love with yourself, the less all of the external crap matters. As you realize how truly magical you are. Now you can stay here for a whole lot longer, especially if this is feeling pretty darn good right now. If you're ready to come up, wiggle out the fingers and toes. Take a deep breath, exhale, hug the knees in, roll to your side, and make your way up to a comfortable seat. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.